Okay, since we've got bracing down under our belt, we're going to start on a more complicated project here. We're going to make this medieval torture device called a thumb screw. You, they put your thumbs in there and they tighten the thing down with this wrench until you tell them what they want to know. So we're going to get started on a fresh one here. And I've just got this basic block laid out right here. And we're going to start bracing this up. So the first thing we're going to do is select up through here. And we'll go to loop slice. Count to symmetry. We'll put them close to the edge. Like that. And then we'll select up through here. Loop slice symmetry. Now we got them up and down this edge here. Now I'm going to cut this way. Loop slice symmetry. And put those right up next to the edge here. Like that. Now I've got it cut this way, this way, and this way. When I hit the tab key, it holds my shape pretty well. Now I need to divide this up even more. So I'm going to do my axis slice. And... I don't know, we can give it 10 in X and 0 in the others. Actually, we could probably give it more than 10. I'll give it 14. Spacebar dropped the tool. Now we've got it divided up into nice 14 nice even segments. I'm going to select right up the middle, loop slice, count of 1 at 50%. And I'm going to click and it'll take it right up the middle there. Now we need to make some holes that you've seen for our bolts to go through. So I'm going to select these, shift select these, and let's bevel these in. I'm trying to think if I want to do all four. Let's go ahead and do all four instead of mirroring it. Okay, now let's hit the B key to bevel. Click to activate the tool. I'll bevel these suckers in like this. Spacebar drop the tool, then I'm going to hit the R key and we'll scale them up and make them a perfect square. Like that right there. Spacebar drop the tool. Now, let's select these four inner polygons and the four inner ones down here at the bottom. Um, duplicate tab, bridge. I got mine on segments of three. I'm going to click and there you go, that creates our hole. Let's do the same thing on this side. We'll select the four polygons we just made into a square. Select the ones on the bottom, bridge, click. Now we have a bridge hole there. And when I click, you can see that we are holding our square shape pretty well. You can go in and tighten it up using more loop slices, but I don't want it too tight because this is a medieval type thing and symmetry and accuracy is not on the agenda. It has to look a little authentic. Okay, now if we want to, we can go in here and now we need to make our little spikes for our thumb screw. So let's go to a new mesh. Okay. Let's go down here like this. And I'm going to control click a cube. Hit the R key. I'll scale this bad boy down. W so I can adjust it here. Let's move in here and just halfway place this somewhere. We can go to our top view which will help place this. I'm going to place it right in the middle. Like this. Go back to perspective. Let's see what we got here. Okay, let's move it down a little bit. Okay, now we're centered up. So let's go in here and make this spike like we did in my previous video. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, let's get a little closer here. Go to polygon mode. I'm going to run a loop slice. Count of two, symmetry. I'm going to put them right up close to the edge there like that. Spacebar drop the tool. So we'll go to uh, edge slice. And we're going to cut this top up. Like this. Like so. Then I'll have to check split in the middle. Split it in the middle. Shift select again. Remember to uncheck split in the middle. Okay. So take your edge slice, make your cut, select split in the middle. So it'll split it right down the middle there. Uncheck split in the middle. And there we go. So now let's select our middle vertice here and pull it up. 
give it that little spike that we're needing. Let's go back into our front view now and go ahead and do what we was going to do before. So let's grab these top verts like this. Hit the W key and we'll pull them up to match the top. Then we'll hit the R key and we'll scale them in. Let's go back to perspective and scale them this way in the blue. Like so. Now we can go in here and grab our little middle vert and pull it up. Now let's finish dividing this up real fast. We'll go back to polygon mode and we'll put loop slice around the top there. Like that. And I'll do one around here with a count of one. Mode free. And I'll put it right towards the top. Like that. Then I'm going to select around through here and do a, some loop slices with a count of two on symmetry. So let me breeze through this real quick. We'll do one on this side. We hit our tab key, we're holding our shape. Okay, so let's turn back on our other mesh. Let's go to our top view. And let's double click that. And we can Command C to copy it, Command V to paste it. Hit W. And we can bring it down. Like so. Now let's move it over here, like this. Spacebar drop the tool. Now I'm going to Command C, Command V again, and hit W. And we'll move it up like this. Okay. Now we can select both of them by shift double clicking them. Command C, Command V, W to move it. And we'll move them over. Like so. Now it's just a matter of doing the same thing and let's make a row of them. Let's say about right there. Now let's select these two and we'll do the same thing. We'll make a row of them. Now we'll copy this middle one here a few times. Now this don't have to be perfect. I'm just breezing through this real fast. You might want to be a little more accurate. It's up to you. Go back to our perspective view. Let's turn on both our meshes. Now it looks like we got a good even spacing of spikes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut those spikes out with Command X. Go to my original mesh, Command V. Now that combines those. Now all we got to do is bend it real fast, and we will continue on from there. So let's go up to uh, Fall Off, Symmetry, Radial. Let's so I'm clicking the middle and drag out like this, make it really big. Let's zoom out here. I'm going to tighten it up like this. And I'm going to hit the W key so I can move my center item. I'm going to pull it down like this. Now you can see we're getting a good bend in that. Spacebar drop the tool. Let's remove our radial fall off. Let's go back to perspective. Let's zoom in. Let's hit Command C. Actually, let's go ahead and select everything like this. My box selecting it. Command C, Command V to paste it. W to move it. Let's pull it up. Now let's hit the E key to rotate it. 
and we'll rotate it 180 degrees in the X. Move this down here. Okay, now we've got the beginnings of our thumb screw. In our next video, we'll continue on and make our bolts and our wrench. Thanks for watching, guys. See you then.